All right, during my days as a Cub reporter, I recall former Royals manager Whitey Herzog telling me that sports fans are the most fickle people in the world. One minute they're showering you with affection, and that only a mother could give a child, but then all of a sudden they'll turn on you in a New York second. Whitey's words of wisdom came long before all this social networking became such a big part of our lives. Last night and today, I spent time tweeting and texting, and I can't tell you the number of exchanges that began with, how about my cats? Now, keep in mind, many of these came from the same people who wanted to run Frank Martin out of Manhattan a month ago. Now the K-State coach has become the toast of Aggieville. There's a co-worker in our newsroom that took some verbal shots at me on Twitter after I started campaigning for Frank Martin to be the Big 12 Coach of the Year. And by the way, I began beating that drum before K-State defeated Texas. Anyhow, that same person is now telling me that I was probably right about Martin. But some of you vehemently disagree with my choice, and that's fine. I get hammered about my opinions all the time, but that's part of it. Bill Self told us he's never looked at a message board. He's fearful of what's being said about him in cyberspace, so he ignores it. In our business, we don't have that luxury. We're moving targets. I saw something the other day that hit a big chord with me, went something like this. Being a member of today's media is not at its apex. Let's face it, the internet has turned anyone with a library card into a reporter, a columnist, or a storyteller. I thought about that for a minute or two, and you know what? That's me. I get to spew all this unfiltered sports talk, and remember folks, it's nothing more than rhetorical hyperbole. That's why I call it Jack Smack.